Hey everyone! Alright, so today I've got a pretty fun one for you, all you Harry Potter fans out there. A 3D Harry Potter puzzle. Only 300 pieces though, so let's see how long this thing's really going to take me. Let's dive into it! Hey everybody! Alright, so, like I was saying today, I have a Harry Potter puzzle for you guys. Only 300 pieces. So this was actually a gift from a customer that came into the store. They found it at a screaming good deal. I know that we do the channel and all that good stuff. So they thought this would be a pretty good fit for something a bit different and unique. And it is. I, it's, um, I have done one type of this puzzle before back in the day. It was of a 3D animal puzzle that another friend had gifted to me. Um, so that one was interesting. It did throw me off a little bit because of how the image was shifting. It'll be interesting to see how that is with a 300 piece puzzle because there's really not that many pieces in all reality. Um, and it is a Harry Potter puzzle for all you Harry Potter fans. So it is the castle. It's Hogwarts. Um, and you got Hedwig in the back. And it looks like some writing as well, which that part's going to be interesting. Um, so yeah, a lot of the same color scheme kind of going on. Um, and yeah, oh, okay, it shows you a better picture on the back here. That's pretty neat. Interesting. So what does this say? Uh, okay, so Ministry of Magic... I think just random things that have to do with the movies and stuff. Okay, interesting. It actually kind of shows, like, if you look really hard, you can actually kind of see some of the piece outlines. So I wonder how accurate that is. That, that's a curiosity. Anyways, okay. Here we go. Of course, I don't have anything sharp for the icky stickies. Okay. Three hours later. <laughs> Ooh, how long does the puzzle take? Eh, ten minutes. How long does it take to open the box? Eh, an hour. Ooh. Actually, I wonder what brand even is this? Hmm. Interesting. No real branding or anything like that on the box. Hmm. I know there's not a Harry Potter puzzle bread maker. <laughs> Uh, it's just interesting that there's not like a Cobble Hill or a Buffalo Games or anything like that. Huh. Interesting. There goes that. Yeah, holy smokes. Huge pieces. Oh my goodness. Wow, like... Huh. Wow. Enormous. Look at these mammoths! Holy crap! Those things are huge! Oh my god! Is it, a, is it a 3D puzzle or just a regular puzzle? No, it's a 3D puzzle. Okay. So it's a, just like the animals one with the shifting image kind of thing. That's like the only thing oh, that, that I see. Oh, that 3D. I yeah. meant 3D. No, 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 no. Oh my god. No, I would not have told you that it was a quick puzzle. That it would be like, okay, so we're going to be here until tomorrow because this isn't getting built well. No, 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 no. This type of 3D where the image is like the weird, um, yeah, yeah, with the weird image that if you run your nail on it, it'll, uh, Make a cool noise. Which, fun fact, you do the same thing with the box. If you're a child at heart like me, you totally have to. Alright, okay, I'm curious. How long is the 3D 300 piece puzzle going to take? Oh, noisy. I hit the wrong button. Load. Okay, I am not going to remember to not pause the timer this time. If this is done in like 10 minutes, I say this is a you puzzle. I should have given it to you. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to bother to pile the pieces with this few, like, eh, eh. Not feeling that. The space where Hedwig is is throwing me off a little bit, because the back is white. There's a few pieces with him that are pretty much pure white. I flipped those over wrong a couple of times.
Oh, two minutes to sort the pieces. Bada bing, bada bum. So maybe not quite a puzzle you enjoy with the weird 3D texture, the pieces don't click in white like normal, that would probably throw you off a little bit. to say I haven't done a 3d puzzle in a long or a 300 piece puzzle in a long time um, 100 piece puzzle we know is like somewhere upwards of a few minutes so 200 pieces would probably be like 10 15 minutes maybe so three maybe half an hour
better at this fight. The next game is one so you can fight it on the game. Yeah, I know it's one. We can fight one before. But yeah, they're, they're just this fight one. Once they were playing, I can just get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can just get it. Yeah, I can just get Yeah, I'm only at 16 minutes. There are certain parts that have tripped me up a little bit, like the uh, Hogwarts is actually pretty easy. It's the sky that I'm like, uh, it, it, is this right? <laughs> like the rocks are surprising. I thought the rocks would be really hard. It could just be the piece size kind of thing though. Like if it was, if there were more pieces, I definitely think the rocks underneath the castle would be way harder. It's like there's more distinct lines or something with them, whereas the sky is just kind of a blur. to the fact that they do fit together funny and you kind of got to almost it's weird to say but force them in just because of the way the different finish affects it so it's like it's right but it doesn't always feel right
Tricky, tricky, tricky part. I must have passed the easy days now. No! I'm back! Oh dear! Right in the way. A Homer Simpson it sometimes. In, in, in. about this one, but it will go there for now. Oh, I think it was right. Hooray!
long did you think it was going to take? Um, how long did you think it was going to take? Well, when I did the math, I was dead. I should know better than bring math into this by now. Um, I was calculating it based on a regular 300 piece puzzle, which I realized after I had gone and done it. Um, so, I, I don't know. I think I'm still pretty on par. I'm at 26 minutes so far. Um, maybe another 15 or so to account for the 3D ishness of it. I don't know, it's weird because there's a few points when I've just kind of been shifting pieces around and sort of at a stagnation point, but right now I'm kind of in a groove. So I mean, I don't know, it could come together in a, in a matter of minutes or something like that if it, it's just all of a sudden the hard parts out of the way or something. And It's hard to say with a weird one like this. All in all, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with my time so far. are really nice because they have nice defined, although very blurry and shifty, um, towers and things. So that part's pretty nice. Gives you a good place to start. your home, but like, ooh, the corner is catching it. Sticky. way less defined than it looks on the box, my goodness. 
That was such a defined part right there <laughs> in this. when you gotta pound them in sometimes especially if you know it's right but it's, it's the weird material that it's like no thank you I don't want to go in my spot 
Normally, when you do that with a puzzle, it means you got a piece in the wrong spot. <laughs> Not that you got a piece in the right spot. <laughs> I guess. I I, I I will not be receiving my Hogwarts letter. <laughs> Remind me what I had this done by now. <laughs> you think so? What, with like magic or something? No, 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 she's like oh, okay. All right. Again, you could have done it. This is like a your sized piece count. Not too many, not too hard. You know, like this is a just right. This is a good lazy Sunday puzzle. Finally, I don't even look for that piece since like the start. So like I always want as a kid I always wanted to be in Slytherin. I don't know. Okay, so I'm weird. Owl. Oh, this is Hedwig. I don't ten points to Slytherin. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Yay! I'm done! That actually that was pretty fun. Um it kind of sucks that the pieces don't click in as well together, but I mean that's just the nature of the beast really when you're using this kind of material. It's a little like the wooden puzzles, so you kinda of gotta take them with a grain of salt. So it looks so if I shifted it all, will they get to see the 3D part of it, or? I, I, I doubt it. Oh, maybe. Oh, uh, you see the shimmer that way. Wait, what if I hold it up, because it's durable enough, what if I hold it up like this and we do it on the camera facing me? Would that... Oh, yeah, it's 3D-ish. You can see it. It's doing the 3D thing? Yeah. That's so cool. There you go, you guys. I hope you're getting a good sense of it. Uh, the one good side of this material is, hey, you can pick it up. It's super durable. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it falling apart. <laughs> awesome. Well, that was a lot of fun, you guys. Honestly. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like the 3D puzzles. I like the weird noise that they make. They're a little bit different. They make for a good chunks. I forgot to start. <laughs> stop my timer. Uh, so right now, it's at 39 minutes and 13 seconds. So probably like 37, 38 minutes, really. Um, which isn't bad. I mean, that's like right around what I was originally thinking of half an hour. That's pretty much right on par. So yay! Happy, happy, happy. Awesome. Uh, 300 pieces. It's good, like I said, it's good for a lazy day Sunday puzzle. It's too few pieces for me on a regular basis. But hey, it, it, it is a good little break puzzle kind of thing. This also might be a very good challenge for someone who's newer to puzzling, who just likes smaller piece count puzzles, that kind of thing. But yeah, anyways, you guys, thank you all for watching. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good night, everyone. Happy Sunday.